Uh, my name is Cameron Babb. Uh, this is my sixth year at Washburn. I think the student morale for, for the most part has been pretty good so far. Uh, I know that some teams have um, maybe had a kid here and there that maybe have to sit out and just for caution and, and just to make sure that, that we're not spreading anything around. But for the most part, morale is good because we're still, you know, we're still training and, and practicing. And I think everyone's just kind of excited and ready to start uh, hopefully eventually competing. And so as athletes, I think that's what they usually look forward to is, is the grind of the day to day in order to compete. And so they're still hanging on to the, to that where, okay, we see it on the horizon. We'll be able to do something eventually. So I think the morale's still there for us. Well, my, um, my coaching right now has, um, been, been pretty patient compared to some of the other years. Um, just trying to get my kids ready to return to activity at a high, high level because I know we've take, we took some extra time off with the season being cut so short last year. Um, there was about three months extra of downtime that my kids had coming back this year. And so uh, trying to take my time, trying to make sure they're ready to, to do everything we need to do as college track athletes. And so, um, you know, just taking a step back, being a little more patient, uh, making sure that we have crossed all our T's and dotted our I's before we move on to the next thing this year. And so, um, you know, that's, that's really the main change. Other than that, we're planning on um, this season moving forward uh, as normal. Now, it might change. It, you know, things seem to change day to day, week to week, but we're trying to plan as we normally would. I think Washburn's handled COVID uh, really well. I mean, the, the main concern for me and a lot of coaches coming into this season was the ability to keep our kids engaged and active throughout the semester. And the people who make the decisions around here have made decisions that keep us going. And, and we've been able to practice, you know, track kids are practicing, football's practicing, volleyball, soccer, cross country. Everyone is still able to do something. Even if we aren't competing, we're keeping the kids active. And I think that's, uh, I think that's a, big, uh, a big factor that came from the decisions that Washburn's made so far um, with, with our protocols, you know, with everything they've put in place. Um, it's allowed us to keep doing what we needed to do as an athletic department. Even if we're not competing, these kids are still active and they're still getting to do things in their sport. And so I think that's a key for us. Well, I, I, think, I think each sport you can be looked at a little bit differently. Um, you know, the NCAA made the decision for us um, kind of back uh, in the beginning by canceling the fall sports championship seasons. And so when they canceled the championships, um, I think a lot of people thought there wouldn't be much point to competing if there's no postseason tournaments or, or championships or anything. Um, you know, my sport and cross country might have been one of the easier ones to be able to pull off through COVID just because of the limited number of kids that are on each comp competition team, um, outside sport. And so, you know, maybe we could have been able to do that, but, um, but I understood that, you know, the NCAA made the decision uh, to cancel the championships. And then, you know, the MIAA just, um, just kind of fell in line with that. And so, you know, maybe some of the sports would have been easier, but, um, I would like to see our kids run, but, you know, I, I think just the ability to keep practicing was huge for us. I think one of the main things is just trying to stay current on what's changing on a week to week basis with COVID. Um, you know, as a coach, that's one of our main, um, one of our, our main, things that we need to do is know what we have to do to keep our team active and to keep our team uh, training so that we're able to have a season. You know, I'm, I'm not so worried about separating myself from, from COVID negative positive as much as I am um, trying to make sure that we're doing everything we can to have a season. And, you know, that usually just means making sure we're following all the protocols, whether I like them or not, whether the team likes them or not. That's how the NCAA and the MIAA are going to have sports is by trying to limit the spread and limit what uh, what factors we're, we're dealing with. And so that's the main thing for us right now. Uh, I, I probably am the most excited person in the country for this for this arena right now. Um, this this is one of the best facilities for track and field that you're going to find in the country and coming from. Um, the resources that we've been working with the past five years to having all of a sudden one of the best is going to be a game changer for us. It really will be. And just being in this region of the country um, through December, January, February, March, 
when training for track and field becomes very difficult outside. Um, we will now be able to train how we need to as a college athletic program in order to be successful at a high, high level. And so that's, that's very exciting for us. But then to give our kids a home that they feel like is their own and um, that we can have home competitions, we can have people come watch us compete on our own territory is, is going to be incredible for us. And I know uh, I'm excited, but so are my athletes. I mean, they're asking me every day, when is it going to be done? When is it going to be done? So, uh, you know, this last month, this last push down the home stretch is just going to crawl along for us because we're so excited and anticipating it. But it's going to be well worth it.